officiating the first fight to kick off the first matchup in the history of Road FC in the city of Taejeon. Taejeon is about a two hour drive from Seoul, the capital of South Korea. And let's see what these two have. Woo Jae Kim and Won Hee Jung. Yeah, there's a lot of fighters uh, fighting tonight out of Daejeon, representing the hometown. Yeah, that's definitely one of the reasons that we're having it. That's why uh, the uh, match cards have uh, really featured a lot of guys from Daejeon. And there they go right away, trading hits. Yeah, there's a lot of big names from this city too. Woo Jae's on the back foot a little bit. One, he's just trying to push him forward, trying to pressure him against the cage. UJ shoots, but it's kind of from far out. One, he successful in turning his opponent off the cage. Just looking to pressure him right now. He might look to drop down and grab a leg in a second. Ujay's just fending it off for the time being. He's got a whizzer on that left side. An underhook on the right now. One, he's looking to trip him. He's got a nice strong grip around his waist. One, he's really just pressuring UJ up against the fence. He's using his head, using the head control, trying to get it under his chin. Anytime he might just draw for a tail. Oh, there's a referee break. Yeah, referee not happy, not seeing enough action. So we're back to the center of the cage. Wani Jung is in the camouflage shorts with the blonde hair. Yeah, UJ in the black. Both these guys sporting some uh, rather big tattoos. Go, I think. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, it looks like an accident on a headbutt. That's what it looked like. Something Perhaps, happened there. Yeah, to his mouth. Oh, perhaps he's signaling like it was an elbow there, right? Oh. In so close. Yeah, but in a case like, I mean, basically, uh, Woo Jae Kim, the red corner fighter, he, he knew it right away, uh, went over, reached over to apologize. Yeah, there it, there it, it is. It was just a it short. It was more of a there forearm. Was, yeah, I don't think you could really complain about that. Well, he's complaining. He's taking some time <laughs> out. I mean, it's the rules, so you're going to go ahead and take uh, advantage of the rules. Yeah, Road FC did away with elbows quite a while ago now. They were just causing too many cuts and delaying fights, just stopping cutting uh, fights short. Okay, it looks like um, it was a short elbow or a forearm, but... All right, now he's back. And there they go. <sighs> yeah, we're just, just apologizing there. Three minutes left in the first round in this flyweight division. And uh, there goes Wani with a couple of strikes. Yeah, one, he's got some big hands. He's got some power there when he comes forward. But once again, they're stuck up against the fence. Uje just trying to fend off the takedown, really. Uh, he's turned him. Just back and forth off the cage here. Uje's looking to use his foot off the cage, but uh, one, he's grabbed his leg. Looking to get a high single. And taking a few punches. Nothing really big, but more of a positioning battle. Right? Rather annoying. So he can't uh, drop in for the takedown. That's right. Yeah, he's just doing oh, it he's got the, He's trying to go for the other leg. <coughs> yeah, he's grabbing that far ankle. Try to pull him off the fence, but Uje's back okay. to his feet. He's giving up his back almost. Oh. Uje's putting a lot of pressure on that right underhook. He's managed to turn his opponent. Uje now looking for head control. A few knees to the thigh, the inner thigh.
And the referee calls a break again. Um, it looks like this referee just uh, isn't standing around for any of the uh, cage. Yeah, the cage wrestling yeah, kind of battle. Yeah. And he goes for an overhead. This is what everybody wants to see. They just want to see him thrown down in the middle of the cage. But every time, Wani's just pressuring his opponent up against the fence. He's got to mix it up with strikes. He's got to put in a few punches here and there. Yeah, at the moment, it's just kind of a war of attrition, just wrestling off the fence. UJ looking for the takedown. None of these guys want to be on their back. Doesn't seem like Wani uh, has, has decided on what exactly he wants to do. Does he want to go for the takedown, or does he want a dirty box? I think it would be better to just, yeah, stick some dirty boxing in there and uh, for the and time he's going being, for a leg. Uje's doing a pretty good job of defending the takedown right now. Both That's these guys really need to, the inside. need to put some points on the card. They're pretty even at the moment, just one, he just pressuring that little bit more. 10 seconds left, or actually about five. Right, that's the first round between uh, Wu Jie Kim and Won Hee Jung. First matchup for Young Guns 40. I am Young Kim alongside Stuart Gooch. We're going to be covering this event for you. We have six fights coming up. This is the first of six. Yeah, six fights in the Young Guns 40 undercard. Then we're heading on to Road FC 50. We got some crazy fights on the main card too. The first round of this fight was not really eventful, was it? I mean, there wasn't much. Uh, there, there was much nothing going solid on. that that happened. Yeah. It was just, um, it felt more like they were trying to feel each other out. Uh, but uh, it's hard to take down. Um, there, no one's getting taken down, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, whoever dominates the second round is going to win this fight, in my opinion. Okay, today, Both these guys. Today we're actually going to see the main event, and the main event is going to feature Mubet Choi taking on Kazuyuki Fujita, and both born in the year 1970. Well, that's the co-main event, so we're going to have a couple of, how old is that, 1970? That is 48, a couple of 48-year-old yeah. fighters. But, I mean, it, they're explosive fighters. Number one, um, I, I haven't seen uh, Mubet Choi. Boy, he did get KO'd, but, um, you know, for some reason, this is this guy is like, really Mighty tough Mo, to get Mighty down. Mo yeah, Mighty Mo is like <laughs> the only person that could do that. Yeah. I think it's a pretty much a guarantee Mighty Mo can pretty much knock out anyone. Right. Yeah, we've seen him just walk through people here at Road FC. Yeah, both those guys fighting in the open weight division tonight. Until 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 Gary Goodridge came along, <laughs> took him down and went for a submission. Gary Goodridge. Ah, you mean um, Gilbert Ivel? I'm sorry, yeah, Gil <laughs> Gilbert Ivel. <laughs> Easily confused. Easily confused. Yeah, a lot of both these of names are, are getting confused. Both of them yeah, are not not only that. Um, <laughs> Gary Goodridge. Same kind of era. Kazuyuki Fujita. He actually fought Gary Goodridge back in his. Uh, I believe Pride Days I actually defeated him too. We got Wani with his back up against the fence now. Uja's just applying a bit of pressure. He really needs to pull him off the fence if he's going to work some more ground and pound. Here we go. He's going to try it. Now, if he could do like a Habib and try to lock in both of his legs. Oh, there we go. Well, that didn't happen. Yeah, he's back to his feet. Three minutes and 50 seconds left in the second round. It's just a real clinch battle with these guys. They're not even throwing many strikes up against the fence. The second and final round. Oh. Oh. Got a quick jab in. It would have been nice if, the, if his right connected. Ujay's got to work some offense. He was kind of on the back foot slightly in the first round. And once again, he's got to... He's back against the cage. We just got to push away and work some more of that striking that we just saw a second ago. There's Wani going for that takedown again, looking to grab the ankle. He's got and him down. And he's got him down. There you go. He's trying to pass that guard. Yeah, Uje's using the butterfly guard there. He's going to sweep him. Wow. Yeah, wow, nice. Uh, Good move. Technique. 
He's now in half guard. He doesn't want to rush this. He doesn't want to pass. Yeah, he can just lay down some heavy strikes from here. See, look, he went to pass and uh, he's almost getting swept. He's now back in uh, full guard. He's back to the half. Yeah, this is where he should just sit and throw some strikes, get some points on the card. Two and a half minutes left in the first, uh, in the second even. This is a two round fight, remember. He's got to throw down some offense from here. Wani Jung trying to kick him off. Yeah, he's got his feet on his hips. He should, well, yeah, he's just taking push. taking a few hits. He's got his back against the fence again. He's going to get up here. A good job. It's less than two minutes in the second and final round. That was uh, part of our um, Korean broadcasting crew going out on Spot TV. A little snippet there. There we go, the referee's gonna break him up. Let's see what they can do. They got a minute and a half left now. Who just gotta push forward if he wants to come back and win this. He knows it, but yeah, one, he's got him in the clinch again. He's gonna pressure him against the fence. Yeah, Young Guns is kind of where the proving ground. Um, both of these fighters have uh, losing records, six fights in total for one he Jung. Lost four, one, two. He needs his win bad. Both of them do, actually. His corner asking, uh, getting, telling him uh, when he to, uh, to get a lower stance. Standing straight up, though. Yeah, he was lucky there, because Uje he didn't drop too low for that takedown. If it had dropped just a little bit lower, he might have got it, but I mean. Yeah. 37 seconds left. I mean, this looks like a fight that, you know, neither of them want to lose. So it's just a very close kind of battle. Both of them are just doing what they can to pick up points and not risk too much. Okay, there's 15 seconds left. They need to move because right now it's pretty even. One, he's got the back. Oh, spins him around. Didn't quite complete the takedown. And that's match. That's it. It's going to be a close one. Uh, UJ doesn't seem happy with his performance. I mean, he did get pressured quite a lot up against the fence. He showed some offense in places, but one, he was more controlling. Look, great timing on that uh, takedown right when the kick came along. It was—it didn't seem like a solid kick, though. I, I'm not sure if he really wanted to kick him or to just get him in a different position, but uh, Wujie took that leg and brought him down. Good move there. And this is where when he was in a little bit of trouble, he was just taking some hits. Yeah, I mean, if Wujie was really going to yeah, dominate, he should have. Yeah, nothing really damaging there. there. Yeah. That was his opportunity. That was his chance to really put an exclamation, an exclamation mark on the fight. But yeah, I'm not sure how the judges are going to see this. But and we go to the official results. Split decision oh. goes to the red corner. Wu Jae Kim. taking it. One, he's frustrated. He thought he did enough. It was just perhaps what UJ did on the ground, you know, from that uh, half guard position. Yeah, one thing that um, I just kind of, uh, how do you say, it just didn't feel like Wani Jung came out with a solid game plan. I mean, he had all the uh, weapons, he had all the uh, training that he needed, but it just it just didn't seem like he was going for a takedown. What, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna go for a takedown? What are you gonna yeah. do, go up high or what? Yeah, there was nothing really there to finish the fight, I mean, UJ was in a similar kind of situation, but he came up, came up trumps. 